Okay, um, I see we have an issue that has come up for people that use Photoshop Elements. Um, you don't have a Channels tab available. I did not realize this. So in showing you how to remove the silvering from this photo, in regular Photoshop, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Uh, we would duplicate our background. Uh, I would go to the Channels tab, scroll through my channels, see which one is the best. Happens to be blue on this one. I would select All, Edit, Copy, turn my channels back on, go to the Layers palette panel again, Edit, Paste. And now I have my best version. I actually didn't even need a copy now that I think about it. But anyway, now I have my best version of that original photo. And I have not damaged or harmed my original photo. Now I can do my adjustments on here. I can uh, work on the levels. Um, you know, get it looking the best that I can and then I can start repairing the damage. Unfortunately, folks who have, um, I'm going to delete that. For you folks who don't have the full Photoshop and you have Photoshop Elements, you don't have that easy option available. You're going to have to um, try to find another method or you can go with um, this kind of complicated procedure, but you can make your own channels. And I'm going to show you how to create a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. And although we already know the blue is the best, I'm going to show you every single one in order because blue is not always the best. Sometimes it is the red channel. So, And this way I get to show you three times. So I right click my layer and I'm going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to make a red channel. And I, I kind of think you need to keep these labeled the way I'm showing you because it helps you keep it in order. So what we want to do is we want a red channel. We want to multiply the red and we want to screen out the green and the blue. RGB, red, green, blue. So in order to multiply the red, we need red. So we're going to do a solid color adjustment layer and in this box that says R, we're going to type in 225. There's 225 colors. We want them all to be red. And we're going to change the blending mode of the layer to multiply so we can multiply the red. And I'm saying this repeatedly, hoping to help you remember. And you might want to take notes and you might want to watch this video several times in order to understand what I'm doing. Um, so I multiplied the red. Now what I want to do is merge that layer down. And I just want to merge it down one step. I don't want to merge or flatten the whole image or merge visible. I just want to merge it down one step. Now I'm going to duplicate that red channel and we get red channel copy. Now this time I want to go to hue saturation adjustment. Now red, green, and blue are 120 degrees away from each other on the color wheel. So we want to make a hue adjustment of 120. Then we want to merge that adjustment layer down. And now we have green. Now we want to subtract the green. So we're going to switch it to screen. So now we have screened the green out of the red. Now we'll duplicate that layer. We'll do another hue saturation adjustment layer. Again, 120 in the hue. Going to merge that down. 
and that will automatically change to screen if you did the steps in the order that I showed you. Now if we if we've clicked on that one, we hold down shift and click on the red channel layer, right click and merge those layers. And now we can rename it red channel. Now we have a red channel. Not the best results. But again, like I said, you, you need to have you need to know how to do all three channels because sometimes red is the perfect channel to use. It's not that great, but let's shut that off for now. Because now we want to make a green channel. So we're going to dupl duplicate the layer and we'll make a green channel. We're going to add a solid color adjustment layer and in the green box here 225. We want to multiply that and merge it down. Now we want to duplicate that, make a hue saturation adjustment 120 degrees, merge that adjustment down switch this to screen so we're screening out the blue duplicate that layer make another hue saturation adjustment of 120 merge that down and that went to screen now we have our green channel click on the top one shift click to the bottom merge those layers and now we have our green channel. Not the best results so let's try one more. Go turn that off, go back down to our original, duplicate that layer, always duplicate the layer. I forgot to name it, let's call it blue channel. going to add a solid color adjustment layer and in the blue box type in 225. We want to multiply that color, merge it down, make a duplicate, do a hue saturation adjustment, 120 degree hue adjustment, Merge that down, change it to screen, duplicate that layer, do a hue saturation adjustment, 120 in the hue, merge that down, and shift click merge the three of those layers together and we now have our blue channel. And I think we have a winner. That's our best looking channel. It gives us the most information. Um, it's pretty much what you see here. This is a little different I have to admit. But it is definitely doable. It got rid of that, all that silvering. Yeah, if you want your gold frame back, just add a mask. Um, yeah, a fairly hard brush. Switch over to black. And if you click, because of these straight lines here, click there and then hold down shift and while still holding down shift, I'm going to trace this entire frame just one click to make my straight lines. And then you can let go of shift and just fill in the rest. Now I have my pretty frame back. Um, and then we can switch back over to the uh, 
photo thumbnail here and um, we can adjust our levels however you want it to look. Um, I think that's excellent. I'm excited that that is a possibility uh, with Photoshop elements because I really do love this method of removing the silvering from a photo and I was disappointed to hear that elements doesn't have that channel tab. Um, so here's your workaround. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, join us on Teach Me to Color, um, where we have a lot of fun. We try to learn and teach each other how to work with uh, our ancestors' photographs and how to colorize. Um, you can contact me here, or you can contact me on my on uh, Facebook at Teach Me to Color. Thank you.